<laughs> we're live? Okay. We're live? Oh, hey, Facebook. No. <laughs> hey, guys. Dave here from Iographer. We're here with the amazing Steve Ford. Thanks, Dave. And we're at VidCon 2018, and we're checking out. I wanted to find out about Project Rush, which is uh, Adobe's new editing program for mobile. It looks amazing, and no one else I would rather talk to than this man here. So, Steve, tell us all about Project Rush. Thanks, Dave. I mean, Project Rush has been a journey. We've actually been working on this for quite some time. Uh, and when we started it, we saw, you know, really what's the difference between a mobile platform like this and that laptop? It's really just the screen size. It's, it's coming, narrowing down, right? That's right. The power of actually a mobile device is just as powerful in many cases as a laptop. So we really wanted to orient it around how can we come up with a new experience that also sees so many more people creating content in such compelling ways anywhere they happen to be. We also have, you know, the industry standard After Effects Premiere Pro Audition. Mm -hmm. So how could we give them basically the best of all three in a single experience on any device, anywhere they happen to be? So that's, I think that's probably what I'm most proud of with Rush. We actually took that engine that's actually behind Premiere Pro After Effects and Audition, mm -hmm. and we brought it to not only Mac and PC, obviously we're already there, right, right, right. but Android and iOS. So uh, it's it's been a journey, but really happy now we're out talking about it, and can't wait to see what people think. So I, I am excited to get on the beta, but just seeing from what um, it, it, that you can do with it, it's light years above what it was before, <laughs> or, or the ideas that were thrown around before. Um, it looks very pro now, um, and I'm a, so I can do it on on um, on a laptop or my mobile device. Yeah, and it's a cloud-first application. So maybe I'm shooting on my mobile device, mm -hmm. and then I want to do a um, an edit just because I happen to be somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to complete the whole thing, which includes motion graphics, right. which includes color correction and audio. I should be able to do that on the small form factor. Mm -hmm. I should be able to do it to the same high quality that I could do on my desktop. Mm -hmm. But if I want to jump back and forth just because I want to take advantage of the screen real estate, I shouldn't be penalized. Right. So as soon as I make any change on anything, mm -hmm. it synchronizes to everything else. Right. So it's automatic. And that's that's probably one of its first big compelling features. Now can I, I can uh, shoot in my 4K, can I edit in 4K and spit out 4K? Yeah, basically uh, Rush is four video tracks, uh, three audio tracks. So 4K, you know, HEVC, it's native on the iPhone, uh, it's butter. <laughs> and that was one of the big things, um, just talking to our customers, um, they wanted the ability, especially the news like the BBC and all those people, can we add B-roll audio, can we add, you know, so the tracks were the big thing that has never been in anything before that you've made for mobile. Yeah, and I think that's the, that's the big thing. When we saw what, say, mobile journalists wanted to do, or folks that were creating high-grade quality content, they wanted complicated things like J-cuts and L-cuts, and they wanted to be able to do B-roll in the way that you would do. In a, in a high-end production, but how do I do that without being bombarded with buttons mm -hmm. and dials, uh, without the learning curve? Because a lot of folks don't need to go down to the depth of craft production. Right. Um, and that's, that's also a core message of this. We saw the opportunity to say, we have a huge universe of professional users mm -hmm. that create the world's most compelling content. Mm -hmm. What if we actually bridge the gap between the online video creator and the professional so that the professional is creating content for them and this is where technologies like motion graphics templates come into play. Because we're not going to put After Effects, the app, right. on my device. Right. But if I can take advantage of the, the army of After Effects users who know how to use After Effects back, backwards and forwards, and they can create a motion graphics template that I can then apply on my phone, um, and I can still have the same high quality pixel output that After Effects would produce, mm. We believe that's a game changer. So, so I'm I'm an After Effects user. I create my graph, my motion, or Premiere if I want to. It's, it's yep. the what are they? The Mogart. Uh, yeah, Mogarts. Mogarts. Yep. Okay. So I create that. Then would I upload it to the cloud and then open it up in in uh, Rush? Is that how the workflow is? There's two ways. Basically, uh, I could um, cr create my own motion graphics templates in After Effects, mm -hmm. share them to myself via libraries. Mm -hmm. Libraries are fully supported right, right. Uh, within Rush, okay. so I could open up it that way. I could also surf the web, find other people who have made motion graphics templates, or I can buy them in Adobe Stock. So uh, that's all in Rush. So Adobe Stock is implemented in Rush. That's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. Why don't we take a look and see how this thing works? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Let's dive in. So one thing, I'll start off and I'll just create a project from scratch. Mm -hmm. But the idea is, and this is obviously the desktop experience, mm -hmm. um, the experience the experience on the phone is also completely the same. So if I open this up, and basically uh, uh, start on my phone. 
we built in a capture experience. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing that I saw with a lot of folks who are really compelling, mm -hmm. building compelling content in mobile. They have to use multiple apps. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to be able to say, you should be able to go all in one mm -hmm. and right from the start. So if I hit the plus button down there mm -hmm. um, and I say, whoops, take a video. Do you have to say whoops? I don't have to say okay. whoops. And now okay. this is obviously a capture experience, just mm -hmm. like your camera app. Mm -hmm. I could just press the button and start recording if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But we also have a pro mode. So the idea is that you could go in and you could lock your white balance in your autofocus. <laughs> ah, that's interesting. And you could also say, I, I want these aspect ratios or pixel uh, or frame rates. You could get into ISO, white balance, uh, that kind of stuff. The, what we call that is progressive disclosure. So somebody who may not be as familiar with all these technical terms, they just start recording and go. But for somebody who wants that fine game control, it's still there. And that's the biggest thing we want to say. Rush isn't a toy. That's Even though amazing. it's a simplified experience, it's meant to uh, to go all the way. Wow. That That is tremendous. The other side is, is it because it's cloud first, once I create something uh -huh. with, say, Capture, then as soon as I, um, oops, it's opening a project, bear with me. As soon as I basically create that and it goes into my timeline, mm -hmm. and my fat fingers here, <laughs> there we go. Um, it's gonna synchronize all that media as well. Mm -hmm. So in moving content from my mobile device to everywhere else happens by a creative cloud. Uh, and it makes it so very once easy. So once I've shot, I can, it'll be on my, um, Rust Creative timeline. Cloud account. And it will automatically okay. synchronize as soon as you add it to the timeline. Okay. The other side too is if I'm just adding media, say from my camera roll, uh, or from say a DSLR or mm -hmm. something like that, the idea is, is that I should be able to get through a very simplified experience, mm -hmm. see what I'm building out in terms of my story, and then as soon as Rush basically takes that and transitions me into the edit, mm -hmm. maybe this is the first time I'm seeing a transition to a timeline-based sequence. If I then use my fingers to spread that out, you can see the timeline is really simple. I can ah. orient the edit, and that's super easy. I could tell my story this way, but back to, you know, somebody may want something more complicated. Classic is like a J cut or an L cut. Mm -hmm. I can do those types of uh, longer form edits, and I can go in and say, hey, I want to be able to change the audio. Uh, now the gremlins are getting me. <laughs> ah, that's why I did that. I could do that. Oh, wow, that. that's amazing. Uh, I've not yeah. seen another editor do that. Yeah. The other thing is it is multiple video tracks. So like if I just wanted to take that and move it up, Rush will move it up from that point of view. And this becomes powerful as I want to get more complicated or more creative uh, with the type of content that I'm going to produce. Other things that we're taking here is that, again, it's the same technology as Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Audition. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to say color correct this or I wanted to use audio, it's the same engine. Mm -hmm. So as an example, if I say change the color, I'm going to see a very you know Instagram preset approach. Mm -hmm. These are lookup tables from Premiere Pro. Mm. So if I created some and shared them, I can just you go through right like there. that, yeah. or I can go into a more complicated experience. Wow! If I so choose, that's very Lightroom-esque, right? Right. So you can go through it and build more as your creativity okay. advances, but you're not forced to. Yeah. And that's probably the key difference between our professional applications and Rush. The other side, same thing with audio. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to say, okay, this is music or a voice, mm -hmm. I want to be able to take advantage of reduced background noise. Wow. But that's right. actually using our AI technology to right. really understand what the audio is. And it's using 500 effects under the hood. Because this is connected to our pro applications, mm -hmm. if I open this in Premiere Pro, I'm going to see all those 50 parameters. Wow. And I can tweak them and do all that kind of stuff from there. So again, it's designed to work with the professional mm -hmm. as much as work on its own completely. Mm -hmm. And the last thing, and this is probably the hardest one. Can you, can you do voiceover? Oh yeah, voiceover okay. right in the app um, okay. uh, from that side. Mm -hmm. Uh, the biggest thing we heard that people really wanted connectivity with was titles. I want co compelling motion graphics. Right. And obviously we make the industry standard tool for that, After yeah. Effects. But bringing that into a mobile experience was, <laughs> was, that was a non-trivial task. So motion graphics templates are where we rankered that. And that just, whammo, it is beta. It just came out today, folks. <laughs> it isn't even out. It's not, <laughs> it's not out. even out yet. This <laughs> is top secret. Out. Let's just make sure we don't, let's get that clear. Uh, let me just and they're saying the launch is like or later this year, or what are they thinking? It's uh, it is going to be later this okay. summer. Yeah. Uh, let me just make sure I find it. Let me just try that. Um. Actually, I'll stop that there. So I want to add a title, mm -hmm. right? So it's the same edit that we've done. I can basically go to the plus button here. Mm -hmm. I can hit title. Mm -hmm. Now what it's done is it's added a video clip. Uh, it's added my title to the center of my video. 
But I, I could pull that ahead to make it the intro title. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, it's okay. you know this is this is just a video okay. clip, Got you it. know, from that point of view. But the difference is you'll see all this gallery down here. These are oh, motion wow. graphics templates from After Effects and Premiere. So when I basically when I click on that um, and I play use the playhead, that's, that's gorgeous. After Effects Premiere Pro and Audition all working on my iOS device. <laughs> but for me, I basically to monitor, you know to change that. Uh, I can essentially just type on the screen and go from there. Wow. Right? It's still going to adhere to all the animation properties of whatever the After Effects artist yep. had decided for me. That's fantastic. Uh, and go from there. So that's that shows the power and the connectivity of the application. And the last thing we built it for was social sharing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want this to be able to go anywhere. And, and as this is synchronizing, I'm going to switch over to my iPad. Mm -hmm. And the idea is, is that I should be able to go to any destination from whatever device I happen to be using. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I'm never just going to just YouTube. I want to go to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram Stories, and Twitter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to be able to set up all the properties for each of those, and then I want to be able to render it out. And it's gone And to do it as a single click. Wow. You can set your thumbnails, you can schedule, you can basically do the metadata and the tagging that you'll be familiar with mm -hmm. for each platform. Mm -hmm. Rush is also going to make sure that it's the right aspect ratio, it's the right encoding parameter, and all that kind of stuff for you. Um, and really sets it up. And then so last but if, not, if will it go from uh, a 16 by 9 to a square, one one? whatever wow. you happen to do. And I mean, That's you can see that um, if I just even bring this into the laptop, it's easier to show. Um, if I, this is going to go to Instagram, mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to change the orientation to oh, wow. square from that side. That's amazing. I'm, I'm blown away here, folks. Uh, this is this is the editor we've been waiting for for a long time. So thanks. Uh, I'm very pleased at seeing all this. Um, it was pretty much the reason I came to VidCon this year, uh, wow. just to check really this did? out. Yeah, awesome. I Thank really you. wanted to come and see this. Um, I'd spoken to Anita and she told me about it, and so I'm thrilled. I, that's something we really want to get behind Iographer users. And and uh, can they sign up for a beta? Or? Yep. Actually, this is the. Um, I'll bring it over here. Sign up there. <laughs> Project Rush beta. So check it out, guys. Project Rush. It looks awesome. Um, it's uh, is it free? What is the deal? We're not announcing the price. So there's no pricing yet, but the the, the of course the beta is free. Um, and then uh, we, can, we can say. I mean, we fully anticipate this is part of Creative Cloud. Yeah. Um, and at the same time. Uh, so I would assume if you're a, a After Effects uh, Premiere user with the video cloud stuff, um, that would be included in it's it. And stuff. Yeah. Included. yeah. At the same time, you know, we do see a lot of users, so it will be available as a standalone as well. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Steve. It's always good to see you, my good friend. To see you, man. Uh, Steve Ford, David Sulto at VidCon 2018, Project Rush. Check it out.